गाइस वेलकम टू सिविल इंजीनियर्स अड्डा सो दिस इज योर अभिषेक टुडे आई एम शोइंग द एनालिसिस ऑफ द सेम स्पेसिफिक इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट इज माइल्ड स्टील प्लेट ओके माइल्ड स्टील प्लेट हियर सो वी आर नॉट कंसीडरिंग द रॉड हियर बट इंस्टेड वी आर कंसीडरिंग द माइल्ड स्टील प्लेट सो टू चेक दिस स्ट्रिंग कर्व एंड वेन इट ब्रेक्स एंड मेनली द वन थिंग दैट माई सब्सक्राइबर वॉन्टेड इज द नोडल फोर्सेज हाउ टू अप्लाई द फोर्स टू द नोड्स ओके सो वॉट आई हैव डन आई जस्ट शो यू द क्विक रिकैप और क्विक थिंग वॉट विल आई गेट नाउ सो वॉट आई हैव डन इज आई हैव अप्लाइड सेलेक्टेड द नोड्स like both side i have selected you can just see the specimen i have selected the nodes and both side where the i am applying the load uh, that is a uniaxial load force actually now what i have done i have meshing is done that is perfect and i have taken the nodal forces i have selected the nodal elements and both sides and next what i have done is i have in the analysis settings i have made some modifications like i have taken the uh, time end time and other things that you know but one thing i have applied a nodal force so this is a completely different force when you compare with the normal force the normal surface the force it will completely apply to the surface so the nodal force will apply to the nodes that has been created in the selection means you have to uh select or you have to create a named selections what are these named selections you can just see here my my dear friends you can see that we have name selections here so the named selections means the selections that you are naming means you want that particular selection to be useful or to be applied suppose if i want to apply for this end for this end if i want to apply a load of 1000 kN and for this other end the opposite end if i want to apply a load of say 1500 kN so that i can do by creating a named selection means separately i will create a named selection for this command for this part and for this part so that i can apply the load an irregular load or different loads at two different points okay so this is a nodal type of analysis and then what i have applied is nodal force you can see that i have applied nodal force of 15 150 kN sorry 15 kN minus 15 in the negative direction so and uh, same thing same force in the upward which will create a uniaxial tension okay now i uh, when i saw those results you can able to see that the you can see the normal stress main thing that i was concentrating was the normal stress so you can just see here how i have got the analysis okay so you can just see that it is the material is getting completely uh, it's failing that is it is creating some cup cone structure and at middle portion there is no complete uh, breakage of the material because i have created my support very close to the uh, uh, square part here so what happens is when you create your grip length up to the center then it will uh, fail at the centers and one more see you can just see that i have applied the grip grip length or is the nodal nodes up to here so if i have if would if i would have taken more nodes then it would have failed at the center not a problem at least we can uh, come to know by the analysis that uh, so this is the analysis that i wanted to show you guys so just see uh, the analysis so guys what i now i'll do is i'll take the same expression dynamic analysis uh, i'll just create the things here once again so you can just see the same thing i'm just going to create it once again so you will understand like how it will happen okay so what i'll take one more explicit dynamic analysis here so the same thing now what i'll do i'll connect the material here the material which i used is a uh, Alu uh, aluminium explicit in explicit dynamics i am using the specimen is aluminium uh, so now i need to open this model okay so you can just see that how it is applying here nodal forces nodal forces okay so this is a very important concept 
and this is uh, another type of uh, concept that uh, makes the calculation easier which means you can apply for us complete finite element means finite element in the sense it applies for a single element okay for single element you can uh, observe the things okay uh, i'm just seeing yes it's the uh, mechanical is uh, loading up so guys the mechanical part is open so now why what i'll do is i'll select the geometry so in place of structural steel select the aluminium so the material is aluminium that is selected and now for mesh right click go to insert and say method okay so first you select the model then say apply and for this method so for method of applying you just select it as a multi zone okay make that as a multi zone okay so fine so just create this now again on mesh right click and sizing so you insert default there is a the, the answers automatically calculates the default mesh size that is 4.469 mm so i don't want that i'll create 2 mm okay now just go to mesh and say generate mesh okay so element size is 2 mm okay i have not selected the geometry just see i have to select the geometry before i select apply now you can select the mesh yes fine the mesh is fine actually that is sufficient for us and now what i'm going to do is i have to create the named selection so just see named selection named selection yes so this is the selection so what i have to select is be very careful now i'm going to select the nodes so you can see an option here uh, so which indicates node okay so you can select on that node and take the box command so take the box command box select command and now just correctly you select the front face and you just make sure that you're covering maximum up to this part okay so we have covered up to maximum this part and just turn the model uh, and make sure that maximum elements are selected call them as applied so you can see that only the front part is selected here the front nodes have been selected so you should make sure that both the nodes are selected to apply the load equally to both the faces so now again same thing what you need to do again select these parts here so you need to do you need to repeat these things so to make sure that your each and every part has been selected view front so again be sure or make sure that uh, each and every part has been selected here so this will take some time little bit of time because every all the elements have to be selected then only the analysis will go forth will be accurate okay so we'll select in this way also so i think all possible elements have been selected so 548 nodes so this makes uh, confirmation 548 nodes means both the faces have been selected so just see them yes both the nodes the faces of nodes have been selected so this makes sure that the complete symmetrical loading will be applied to the entire plate here itself okay so actually the other points yes everything everywhere it is selected so done so now this is one part so we have to create the same thing for the other part okay so again same thing named selection left click insert named selection so the name selection will be two now so already we have created up to here so just take a front view again so what you do now is just make sure that it is going up to this line so actually uh, by symmetrically uh, considering you can take this so i'll take here up to here so i think it's up to here so i'm just uh, guessing like it's up to here so let's see what is this so up to here okay no not a problem it's okay it's okay yes now just again select come back to this phase 
again just see say front say back okay and now again select the nodes very carefully be very careful be very careful completely you two to three times you select uh, the same part so that each and everything all the elements should be uh, select that without make sure each and everything is selected and now check with apply okay just apply and check so the selection to okay i have not selected anything sorry guys so i'll select it now so view front okay now make sure that the selection 2 is selected okay don't make uh, selection and select the uh, notes so make sure just it was for reference so up to here so what i'll do i'll take up till here so not a problem actually but uh, that loading will be different okay so i'll take up till here so let's see what happens okay so once again you select up till here so make sure again once again you select yes definitely again view back okay now again make sure you're selecting the nodes correctly and once again from bottom to top so once again from here yes definitely now say apply so again 488 node 4 it 548 nodes there also i have selected 548 nodes and now also i'm selecting 548 nodes so so just here 560 548 so see there is some missing of 12 nodes it's okay but i'm just showing it for a tutorial and you can spend the time uh, selecting the things so now what i'm going to do now i'll insert the nodal force guys very be very careful it's not a normal surface force it's a nodal force insert a nodal force object to apply force to an individual node or set of nodes so let's apply the nodal force now so in the nodal force it is asking which section you have to select i have already created the named section so automatically it will give me an option like first selection i am doing that is section okay nodal force now where i have to apply the positive x-axis so what i'll do directly i will apply not you should not give minus because it is already in the positive x direction so give uh, i'll give 100 kilo newton 100 1 2 3 so let me give as uh, 10 kilo newton initially 10 kilo newton initially i'll just uh, show you how it will work out and one more thing on the left side again same nodal force now we have to select the other face not this selection this face is yes, already it is selected selection 2 okay selection 2 now you have to apply the force in the negative of x direction you should be very careful minus 10 to minus 10 kilo newton same thing again here so everything is done but the analysis setting is not being done so end time 0 0.001 second so e raised to minus 4 seconds okay and resume uh, resume from cycle okay so initial time step okay initial time step what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create this as 1 into e raised to minus 10 seconds okay 1 into e raised to minus 10 seconds okay this is our initial time step okay fine mm, now guys what i'll do i'll have to create i have to run the solution now i'll run the solution so guys it will take a little bit time as i explained already if you want to reduce the time of analysis you have to reduce the number of cycles that uh, and it depends on your uh, ram also so be patient it will come yes definitely the solution is done here now i'll uh, i'll uh, insert equivalent plastic strain and one more important characteristic is the normal stress normal stress okay so the both of them need to have a chart actually so x-axis okay we'll see what has to be represented but still we have to solve right yes 
guys so let's see so you can see that the force is exactly being applied at the center so there is possibility of breakage if i apply little more extra load okay so normal stress so you can see the normal stress behavior here the behavior is exactly as expected since we are loading it in uniaxial condition the plate having a lesser cross section will fail at the center so guys let's see the chart here that's a graph actually so just see the see the graph guys so i don't want the time i want the strain maximum and uh, here what i want is uh, display minimum omit maximum uh, x-axis is maximum strain and uh, normal stress no so omit and i want maximum stress okay so you can just see the graph how it's being behaving okay so the stress strain curve so you can just see this is the portion or this is the analysis this is a nodal force now guys one more thing i just wanted to show you guys is so how to create a nodal element okay now what i'll do now i will insert another deformation characteristic that is same thing equivalent plastic but now what i'll do i'll go to the element you have to select the element okay so i am selecting the element so this is like a volume it is like a volume command but it is only for the element so just see i am just going approximately with the center i am assuming this as our my center since we have selected box command it is not taking select the single select now just click on the element and now say apply apply to one element itself which means the equivalent plastic strain of this element is calculated irrespective of the whole structure behavior the element node at this point is calculated so this gives you the very uh, good accurate results that is it's a finite element of analysis so you can just see this is a finite element of analysis so you can just see how it is getting loaded okay fine it's okay uh, so that's an element element wise is a details if you want and we have got the stress strain characteristics also so guys i hope you like this video but one thing i just uh, asked from my subscriber he wanted is to uh, generate the report okay so one more thing if you want to get this animation drawn or if you want the animation as an output to send it to your guide or uh, somebody else for the verification there is a tool called as export video file okay that's just just beside the timer settings like uh, cycle time settings or animation time setting there's a icon called as export video file so when you click on that so it will ask you the location where we have to save the video so i have already shaved, saved it once so i'll just if i say save sorry i'll just have to name this my steel my aluminium bar okay sorry so it's okay and don't worry about the spelling so so this will get stored in that video and you can just show that animation to your anybody and uh, guys so this was the video actually so if you want to learn law i have created a lot of views almost i have done 20 time to 30 videos on answers with a good quality so you 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 always know that uh, i have created a very good content so please follow my videos please don't forget to subscribe my channel like share with your friends to